configure blah 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 and I fixed the yeah. great I can see my fan <sighs> there we go the fan is moved no now uh, why is this happening it needs to be closer and now this is no longer in frame see I think head I'm a smart <sighs> why does the rain have to happen now please why I'm trying to record come on I said stop it Fellow in a peeps, I am Scarab, you watch Scarab Enterprises. Welcome to my channel. I haven't done an update vlog in a very long fucking time. Thank you for the bleep there, Steena. I don't know how to do this type of vlog because I've never done this type of vlog. I think. I'm not sure. This is the first time Steena's editing a vlog. Hey, get. Off the frame until I tell you to, until, until, until you get permission, okay? You just, like that, there we go. All right. Um, uh, health update. I know that I'm like all animated and stuff and I can move my arms and everything and that's perfectly fine, but the problem is I'm not healthy. I bent over to line my bin, the, the bin in my room. I, I would go to pick it up, but it's full at the moment, and then lifting that would hurt my back, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but it, you know, it, it's only like this big, maybe about that tall. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not much. I was holding nothing but a plastic bin bag. I bent down, and then I tried to line the bin, and I felt very, very sharp pain. And for a while, I thought it was my coccyx. What it turned out to be, was a bulging disc in my, I think it's between my L4 and L5 in my lumbar. So, fun times, I now have a bulging disc. So if some of you have been wondering, what is going on with him? Why is he complaining during streams? Why is he constantly talking about being on medication? It's because I am. All of the above. I am hurt, I am hurting, it's preventing me from do, doing the stuff that I want to do. Um, and it sucks, but that's the realities that I've been given. So I've got um, Diclofenac as a anti-inflammatory. I've got Diazepam as uh, something to help me relax. Um, it, 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 mild painkiller, but it's not a painkiller. It's not designed to be a painkiller. Um, but it helps with anxiety and it also helps reduce stress, so muscle tension and everything. Uh, and I was on um, some form of like uh, 30 megs of codeine phosphate. So uh, I'm all out of the, the good painkillers. Uh, I need to go back to the doctors. Um, but I'm seeing if I can survive without the painkillers because it's not good to take painkillers. Um, for a long time in a row like you do need to space it out otherwise it uh, has adverse effects to your body uh, it can leave you constipated can well, you might develop an addiction or something although i think i've got an aversion to the addiction i don't know why i, I know what people are going to say in the comments oh just a lot of junk you would say but no um because I've had back pain in the problem, uh, back pain in the problem, <laughs> because I've had back pain in the past, uh, not due to a bulging disc, but just because I got a fucking bad back, uh, and also when I had my leg injury, uh, that's all recorded on the channel. I was on heavy opiates for so long, so long. And it got to the point where I ended up having um, like a massive tolerance to it. And I had to take the, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, like a, above the recommended dosage because the reg the recommended dosage was not working with me. So I, I spoke to my doctors and everything, they said it was fine, provided I don't go past a certain limit. Um, and then when I went cold turkey off it and I didn't need the painkillers anymore, I didn't suffer any withdrawal symptoms. So I don't know why, but I've got some form of tolerance or some sort of resistance to being addicted to opioids. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's even a thing. All I know is that when it comes to me and mind over matter, it's just, you take medicine the way it's prescribed and then it's not a problem. If you abuse that power, then it's a problem. So don't do that. My uh, bulging disc is preventing me from being able to do a lot of things. So I can't be as animated, I can't do the skits, I can't do any of the planned things that I wanted to do right now. Uh, the bulging disc is supposed to be permanent, but the pain is supposed to subside, but I'm an idiot and I keep assassinating things. So, there's that. Uh, the first time I tried, like I was already in recovery and I was like, oh, I feel pretty good today. This is like three days after um, after the sharp pain and I was on painkillers and everything. I was like, ah, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. You know, I'm still hurting, but I'll be fine. And then I ended up helping my housemate figure out how to, um, how to how to run the whippersnipper so I had to be on the floor cross-legged uh, change the oil put the petrol in make sure the thing is running show him how to use it and I'm an idiot because the pain that I felt afterwards when I went back inside that was worse than when I first noticed the pain in the bulging disc uh, it was at least 10 times worse so I was fucking wrecked that day. And today, because we've got really bad winds here and stuff, my um, my gate slash fence has been destroyed and was banging against, um, against posts and the other fence uh, to the neighbor's property. So it was just constantly going bang, bang, bang every time wind would come and, you know, interact with it. I think that that made sense. It's, I don't know. I just took some... Diazepam, so yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was it was banging. So what I did is I, I went outside today. I got my housemate to come and help, um, but I did all the heavy lifting basically. Uh, so all we needed to do was to get it up and over. And this is the post. So it's a large metal gate, but then we had like wooden posts or something, wooden framing, uh, and we just needed to put that on top of the other one then hammer in some screws, they're, they're screws, but we hammered them in because it was a temporary solution. And then I also tied around the top just in case something came loose. So I managed to fix that, which is really good. So I managed to fix my fence and the neighbor's fence. And then like, they're an old couple that live next door. I don't want them to, you know, have to be up at all hours just because we've got some wind and my gate decides to be like, <coughs> all the fucking time, kind of like, well, you know, new couples. Rain, go away. As soon as I say new couples, it's just like, oh yeah, I'm going to rain more. Go away! Stop it. Good. All right, so, I don't even know if you guys can hear the rain, but right now it's playing with me. I wanna record a whole bunch of videos today. I'm concentrating on more indie titles and um, like short horror games, that sort of thing. Uh, I realized that in the past we've made a lot of long play series -s 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 -s, and most of which we didn't finish or at least I didn't finish uh, I tend to lose interest in things very quickly so that's that's a problem <laughs> but I mean look now we're going to have shorter videos much greater quality editing and I'm going to do the best I can to make it at least worthy of watching, worthy of your time, worthy of my commentary to be better than it used to be. And that sentence proves that I have not made any progress. <laughs> but maybe that recovery will. I don't know. All I know is that I'm hurting. I have to postpone the album release uh, because I can't currently record. Uh, in my current condition. I need the pain to go away and I need to look after myself. I need to go see a physio. I need to organize ways so then I can pick up a guitar again and not worry about it. But update on the album, there's enough songs. We have an entire set. We have the whole, the whole album's worth of songs. And I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands, but it's all there. It just needs to be recorded and then mastered, okay? Like, that's all. Uh, but that's gonna take some time because I'm out of action for a bit. So in the meantime, I'm gonna be streaming, I'm gonna be working on a couple of side projects, um, and I am also going to be recording as many indie games as I possibly can. 
Uh, I know that I haven't been as animated in this vlog. That's because it's a fucking vlog. But I'm sure Steena will do something with it. Won't you, Steena? Oh yes, now it's time to enter the frame. Oh, don't be scared. Come on, come on. Get, get into frame. It's all right. It's all right. No, I'm not going to whip you again. It's okay. I'm not going to whip you again. All right, so this is my editor, and she does a fantastic job of making things awesome. Run a little compilation for us. Just a short, a short compilation of the awesome stuff and the awesome editing that you do. Closer. Closer. <laughs> Hello there. My chest! I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Steena, let's put me into a box and. <laughs> what? Oh my god, that was you. We need to stop wafting farts at each other. <laughs> yeah! Oh shit, sniper's on me. Oh! That was a good death, a good shot. Well done to that sniper. Well done. <laughs> you saw nothing, dude. That's got mold. That's got mold. I don't want it. No, I said I don't want it. It's magic. Well, this is gonna be both uncomfortable for you and me. But first, I'm just gonna get, get, get back. You be good zombie and get back. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Wasn't that fantastic? I think that was fantastic. Now get the fuck no. off my screen! Okay, so... <laughs> the pain is real. Talk about instant karma. Don't punch your editors.